coming to you from the Beard of Whiskey Studios, high atop Barley's Tap Room on Washington Street in downtown Greenville, South Carolina. I want to welcome you to this segment of Big John and Five. I'm Russ Heaps, and this is one of those episodes where I get my good buddy here, Big John Richards, to pick a beer from one of Barley's more than 70 taps. And we talk a little bit about it, we taste it, we kibitz. bits. Uh, we enjoy it, and sometimes we even get a little education on the history of, uh, of brewing. So having said all that nonsense, Big John, what have you got for us? Oh, this is going to be a good one. This is uh, Sierra Nevada, which is local to us, so we get some of their really neat stuff being just right down the street from them. This one should be available everywhere. It's their hoppy anniversary ale, their 40th anniversary. So they went back to, or as they say, went back to their roots with this and that classic early 80s style of uh, IPA. You can see that nice, really pretty copper color that this beer has turned out to be. Um, it's a six percenter, so it's not, you know, uh, super high alcohol, 65 IBUs, so it should be nice and crisp and dry and, and have a good bitter bite to it, but, uh, but a nice backbone. Uh, some classic West Coast hops. It's that homage to original West Coast IPA, which is what brought a lot of us into the fold, especially those of us who, who cut our teeth on the hoppy stuff the way I did. So this is, uh, this is an exciting day for me. And I, I've been, you know, it's been in our market for, I don't know, a week or two now, and I hadn't had a chance to get to it yet. So we are uh, we're having an exciting moment for me. Right. So um, <clears throat> I kind of like to do Sierra Nevada simply because they're both uh, it, it's both local and national. Yeah. So that's always that's always kind of fun. Uh, well, and it's one of the last family-owned craft breweries left in the country, right. especially of its size. Right. There's plenty of little, you know, our little local breweries around that are all still, you know, family-owned yep. and individually owned. But for a brewery that's literally nationwide and, and global in some reach, it's still a, it's still a family-owned operation. So that's super neat for us too. Yeah. Yep, love that. Well, let's let's, let's give her a shot. Up. Okay, well, have you had this in previous? Obvious line, not the 40th, but have you had their anniversary beers? I've had some of their other anniversary beers, and they've all been well. They've all been different kinds of beers. Okay. Their 30th, they had like four different kinds of beers that they brewed at the, and released basically at the same time for their big 30th anniversary, and they were all big experimental, different things, off the charts and off the radar kind yeah. of things. And then yep. this guy, of course, back to their roots. So. Right. I'm excited. Boy, it is dry. Mm, it's tasty. Yeah, it's not an aggressive bitter bomb where it just where it hits the you know hits the palate right. hard, but it is dry and it is but it's still smooth and it's but it's big and flavorful. That's a well balanced beer. I'm getting a little. I'm getting a little citrus out of this. The, yeah, the more it lingers with me, I'm getting this sort of orange peel or grapefruit peel sort of citrus lingering on the back end. The longer it sits, which ought to be the case with a good IPA, it ought to dry up the longer you wait, because it begs you to come back and have another sip. Sure. <laughs> that way you don't fill up on peanuts. Right. You know. I guess. Pretzels have salt and stuff. That stuff's bad for you. I know. <laughs> This, on the other hand. This is uh, clearly health food. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is nice, though. This does remind me of, of the IPAs that I started with 20 years ago when I was first getting into beer. I like it. Man, I, I, is, could, I could drink a couple of I these I would sit back and drink this, you know, several in a row. And at 6%, it'll get your attention. Right. But it's not going to, you know, knock pick you, you up out. and knock you around. Yeah. Right. And I, I like it also because even though it's called a hoppy anniversary, it's not right. really all that hoppy. Well, it's, it's plenty hoppy. It's just not all that aggressively bitter. I mean, you can tell it's another indication of in you know, a beer that doesn't have, or certain doesn't have wheat or oats or something. Right. Like all this lacing is an indication that there's a lot of hop oil left in the beer. Helps kind of bind those proteins together and leave you with that nice pretty lacing and and we're clearly getting a bunch of it with this beer. So these guys are pretty much just straight knocking it out of the park, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Yeah, they just keep doing it. Yeah. Just keep doing it. And, you know, sadly, uh, 
I probably won't be here to, to try their 80th anniversary, <laughs> but, uh, but I'm looking forward to the 50th. Right. So. Yeah, fun stuff. With that. With that, here's to it. Text Miss Lily. Cheers. See you next time.